Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. So, breaking news, it's finally happened. The Google algorithm has gone AWOL. Now, some would argue it's been that way for years. So, what am I talking about? Well, it's a frankly absurd decision to remove the downloader app from the Google Play Store. And why I hear you asking? Well, for the simple reason it's got a built-in browser, which apparently can access unauthorized websites. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, all web browsers can do that, can't they? Well, simply put, you're right. So what the bleep is going on here then? Well, let's take a closer look at this article by Elisa Saba, who actually happens to be the developer of the downloader app and works for AFT News. So they go on to say that the downloader app was suspended and removed from the Google Play Store due to an absurd Digital Millennium Copyright Act, served to them from a law firm representing several Israel cable TV companies. And these include Yes TV, Hot TV, and they go on to explain that the less than perfect lawyer claims that because their app has a web browser, which is able to load some specific copyright infringement websites, i.e. piracy websites, it somehow makes the download app, which is his app, infringe the client's copyright. Now let's hold on and think about this for a second. Don't all web browsers, including Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, I could go on, have the same exact access to these sites? So for this reason, they go on to say that Google has rejected their appeal. Now the reason submitted by the lawyer for why their app should be removed which they add that Google has agreed with so far, is that, quote, this app can be downloaded to any Android-based TV device, allowing viewers to view the infamous copyright infringement website, against which there are two Israeli court and New York federal court judgments issuing permanent injunctions against the website. Now, I can totally understand the frustration of the developers when it comes to Google's decision here, because YouTubers like me and my YouTuber friends who cover internet TV services often come up against these illogical rules set by Google when we're reviewing legal TV media apps which are available on the Google Play Store, which can lead to a channel getting strikes and even being removed from the platform. And as an extra punishment, your viewing figures can be cut dramatically. Anyway, the developers go on to say that you can't really blame a web browser for priority content that exists on the internet, but it seems that that is exactly what's happened to their app. And they go on to say that their app in no way directs users to any specific website other than their own, which is loaded by default. So guys, definitely go and help AFT News with this Google decision. Just head on over to the Twitter conversation in the link provided on the website and add your support by tweeting at Google Play and just simply retweet their plea. Now on a positive note, if you're one of the over 5 million users that already use Downloader and have it installed on a Google TV or Android TV device, you can for now continue to use the app. But if you do uninstall it, you won't be able to reinstall it from the Google Play Store. But who knows how long this will last. Google may decide to ban the app outrightly. They do go on to say that it does remain on the Amazon App Store and is available on all the Fire TV devices. So guys, do let me know what you think of this comment by Google in the comments below. Should they have done this? Why would they do this? Any conspiracy theories out there? I have a few of my own. I wonder if your theories will match mine. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and please give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.